We've come down to the lake to catch up with Matt to learn all about colobus monkeys. Hi Ian. Hi Matt. So we've got seven eastern black and white colobus monkeys here and it's actually a bachelor group that we've got, so all seven boys, uh, all quite young. I think the oldest is just kind of up to six years old and then the youngest has just turned three. Uh, but they're all pretty big now, getting to kind of their, their full grown size, which is between kind of eight kilograms up to 14, 15 kilograms. So quite a sizable monkey really. Yeah, so but in the wild, you'll find these guys in Eastern and Central Africa, places like Uganda and Tanzania. Uh, really good climbers. So they spend pretty much the whole time in the trees. Uh, but our ones here haven't got any predators. They feel a bit safer. So they do spend a bit more time on the ground than you would see in the wild. And they've got great big tails, haven't they? To give them back. You see them when they're climbing along the ropes you set up for them. Yeah. Yeah, so really long tails, really bushy. And they use that for the balance. They're so good at leaping through the air. And it does help slow them down with the, the air resistance. And then once they have landed, they will use it to, to kind of find their balance and stop themselves falling off the logs that they've landed on again. Uh, one of the reasons for the tail as well is is because no thumbs. Yeah, so colobus monkeys are one of the few primates that don't actually have thumbs. They've actually evolved to lose their thumb. Uh, and the reason for that, it just helps them bound through the trees a little bit easier. Most monkeys kind of brachiate and swing kind of branch to branch. Um, these guys will kind of run and leap from tree to tree. So not having a thumb makes it easier to, to grab a grip as you get into the next tree. One of the other good things about them is, is they're always moving about. Yeah, yeah, really active, um, quite, quite a high fibre diet, so lots of energy to get out. Uh, so they spend quite a lot of their day leaping from tree to tree, leaping into the bamboo bushes we've got, playing with each other. And then once they've eaten their food, they will then spend quite a large part laying down, digesting and not doing that much. So go from being really high energy to being really low energy and doing absolutely nothing. So a lot of work you do over there is for enrichment, isn't it? It is, yeah. Um, primates naturally are really intelligent animals, uh, need a lot of stimulation to keep them going. A lot of it will be to do with food, it will be scattering their food around, putting it in, in different puzzle feeders, that kind of thing. Uh, but they are very playful naturally, so we'll put in different ropes, different swings, just things for them to play with. And um, anything a little bit different they will go and have a look at. Uh, and spreading it around the island means that they will use the whole island rather than sit in one place. So we are trying to encourage these guys to be as, as natural as possible, get them moving, keep them nice and active. Uh, and yeah, changing things as much as we can just as giving that bit of extra stimulation. Well, that's it for another Turner's Tales. Don't forget, if you want to come and see the Colobus, Jungle Cruise.